Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit of an interesting topic to discuss today. I thought it was interesting, you know, it's something I think about sometimes. Based on my um, middle and high school life. Now, if you guys remember my story from all the video videos that I've told it, you remember that when I was in middle school, I started writing erotic stories. I started in middle school because, you know, that's when I started being molested. And I was already a writer at heart, so I just started writing these stories. And, of course, it carried on into high school. Now, in high school, I was very popular for those stories. Um, I wasn't popular initially. I wasn't, like, one of those popular kids that everybody knew. But, eventually, I got more known because everybody saw how sexual I was writing. And they were like, damn, you a freak. Even though I was still a virgin, I hadn't done anything. <laughs> you know, it's not like I was trying to front. I mean, the stories weren't about me. It was about my um, alter ego, Jenny. But either way, people, you know, these people who are, of course, my age already, and they were saying, everybody used to tell me that I was going to be wild when I got out of school. <laughs> you know, some of y'all like, what? And some of y'all like, well, yeah, I saw that coming. Some of y'all have been through that yourself. Like, um, so for some reason people in high school or like certain teenagers when they see like a quiet child or they see like a more reserved type child who acts like they're, they've got something hidden inside of them, you know what I mean? Whenever they see that, they automatically jump on the conclusion of, oh, you gonna buck, go buck wild after high school. You're gonna be doing this, you're gonna be doing that. I could tell your parents strict and that's what's gonna make you want to go wild. <laughs> and it's ridiculous how that's stereotyped you know i find that kind of ridiculous and unfair because that's not the case for everybody not everybody who's been sheltered ends up going wild and just acting like a motherfucking moron you know i didn't do that i still prized my innocence in a way i still prized my virginity i remember when i was in high school there was a pamphlet that I had gotten from somewhere. I don't think it was church. I had gotten it from somewhere. Probably some type of church organization or whatever. It was like a pamphlet about <clears throat> about virginity that I got from somewhere and I saved. I really cherished that because, you know, back at home, my dad was trying to take my virginity. I didn't let him. But the night after night, I used to fight him over that. Until, like I said, eventually he stopped trying to penetrate me. He, he just molested me in other ways. He stopped trying. But even so... Even with all that, I still prized my virginity. I was not going to let any man go, any man go inside me unless I knew he loved me and cared about me and he was the one. You hear me? The one. So even with people putting those things on me in high school, I always looked at them sideways like I didn't understand what the hell they were talking about because these were the same girls who were going around school that had already fucked X number of guys. You know, they're, um, bed count was like off the chain I, I can't even I couldn't even think of a girl there who wasn't fucking somebody already you know <laughs> and I know some of them were jealous because they knew I had my innocence and they just wanted to put that on me like saying oh yeah you're gonna be a freak you're gonna be a stripper you're gonna be doing this this that and the other and I'm like uh no I look at myself now and I'm like I didn't do anything even close I didn't do anything even remotely close to what people had predicted that I would do and I'm really happy about that you know I pride myself on being that way now yes I am an undercover freak I love talking about sex I love writing about sex I love the topic of sex y'all know that already by now I mean come on there's, there's no that's not a secret but at that time I still prized my virginity to the highest I walked around with that pamphlet it was a pamphlet about you know what God says about your virginity and blah 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 um, about saving it and saving it for marriage and I kept that pamphlet I remember I kept it in my purse every day it was folded and I kept it in my purse and I carried it wherever the hell I went to remind myself don't do it I'm not making that shit up I really did do that <laughs> I really had a little pamphlet in fact I think I saw the pamphlet recently in one of my old um, chest with like some of my old stuff my really old memories I think I actually found the wrinkled up pamphlet. I'm like, damn, I still had that thing? Holy shit. But that's literally how I walked around <laughs> in high school. After I got that, I just I just kept, I, hang, I hung on to it because 
that was my way of telling myself, even though you're being hurt right now, you're not going to go out and prostitute yourself. You're not going to go out and, you know, have sex just to have sex. You're not going to be going out. You don't aspire to be, you know, with some hooker on the street. I knew I was better than that. Even then, I knew I was better than that. So, you know, I think people in high school, they just say that because that's what their parents told them. Oh, that's what they've heard some grown person tell somebody else. But that's not right. That's not fair for you to stereotype somebody just because you see them in a strict situation. You can't assume everybody's just going to come out and just be this flamboyant asshole and just ruin their life from the get-go. You can't assume that from everyone. Just because you're doing it or you did it doesn't mean it's the same for everybody else. There are some people who have um, stronger minds than that. There are some people who have stronger souls than that. There are some people who really prize um, what's being given to them or what's being told to them. And I really prized my virginity. And I did. Like I said, I was so happy that I kept my virginity up until I met the one. Because there was no way I was going to do it otherwise. And that little pamphlet I held kept me safe. It kept me reminded in every situation that I was in that I was better than the girls in high school were. I was better than just sleeping around for the hell of it. You know, I had opportunities. I had plenty of opportunities to sleep with guys. I had some guys try to come on to me. I had some guys trying to meet me after school. I had some guys trying to tell me, oh yeah, let's go in this closet and let's fuck. I didn't do it. I refused. I said no. Even when I got to college, I dealt with the same thing. I had plenty of opportunities to have sex. I didn't do it. You know, even even with the guys that I thought would eventually care about me, I didn't even bother because it's like, what's the point? I know you really don't care about me. I needed somebody to really show me what love really was. And I waited for that and I got that. So I'm grateful. I will brag about that all day long. You know, I don't brag about that all day long. But if somebody asks me about it, oh, hell yeah, I sure will brag about whatever you feel you need to brag about to make yourself seem you know better than how people make you out to be just do that tell yourself you did the damn thing you did what you were supposed to do and you didn't end up like this you didn't end up like that you know you always got to count your blessings even when people doubt you all the time you still have to count your blessings if you did something that everybody said that you weren't going to do something you weren't going to make it out of be happy that you made it out of that thing. And I'm happy that I saved my virginity for the right one. So yeah, I did not end up book wild <laughs> when I got out of high school. Not at all. Not at all. If anything, I calmed down when I got out of high school. <laughs> and I wasn't even revved up in the first place. All I was doing was writing those stories. That was all I was doing, you know? So yeah. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to talk about that because I had that written down for a while as a random topic I wanted to discuss. And yeah, take pride in who you are. Take pride in what you know you did right in life. And keep it moving. Okay? Never let anybody tell you how you're going to turn out based on your circumstances. Because it doesn't always work out that way. That's all I gotta say, y'all. Make sure you have a great day. I hope you're moving a lot. Um... I hope you're having a great day. And all the other jazz, make sure you follow my fitness Instagram because I'm selling a tea there. I'm doing this full detox thing and I'm cleansing my body and I'm feeling a whole lot better. And I want you guys to see the results. And if you also want a sample, I have samples there. I have a link that you can click and get samples of the tea I'm using to see if you want to purchase. Because, you know, it's, it's actually working, you know? So if you want, you can follow me on there and we can chat more anywhere. Leave some comments down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.